have a men's pro singles match coming up right now. Our number two seed, J.W. Johnson, will be on the far end. Our number three seed, John Sincola, on the near end. This is a men's semifinal matchup. Sincola will start us off serving. Nice ball down the line there from J.W. Johnson and uses his length to his advantage. Both of these gentlemen coming off podium spots last weekend in Mesa. Johnson Cola with his first gold medal in men's pro singles. J.W. Johnson took the bronze medal. After the Johnson Cola victory, and he posted this point. Nice finish from Johnson, but uh, Rispetsky. It was a great stat given by Tyson McGuffin. Wow. And Johnson Cola, again, over 40. 41. For Rispetsky. Johnson Cola had to beat J.W. Johnson two times last weekend kicked over the paddle of Johnson. Nope. Nice ball from J.W. Johnson on the counter with the big forehand cross court. Watch him take a swing at this actually. Put that ball away. Battle Down one there. by Johnson. Good quick reflexes from both these guys. And you'll notice J.W. Johnson also has kind of a pinch spin serve like sister Georgia Johnson that he all on his paddle just to get a good grip and then takes it off the paddle, spins with that left hand very effectively. Talked to him in Mesa last weekend about how he's really been working on that serve. And then just missed that back corner. Again, our other semifinal match will be Jack Foster taking on Zane Navertil here in our men's bracket. Great hold by Sincola as he almost waited for Johnson to commit here. Watch him hold this, hold this, hold this. Last second, pull across, and he did. He waited for Johnson to make a move to his left before he went right. Oh, beautiful. You'll notice, John. Oh, a little net cord there from Johnson. Sincola is not able to recover. Five, oh. That ball floats on Sincola. I don't think he thought it would help Sincola here. He's trying to move to that winner bracket final or if J.W. Johnson will get a little payback from last weekend. Just long there from. Great ball there from. For many years and now teaches pickleball as well. Recently moved to the Lake Geneva, Wisconsin area to teach. Was in the Crystal Lake, Illinois area. I believe he still lives there, but now teaching in Lake Geneva area. A little short on that lob attempt from Sinclair. You can see he's a little frustrated with his attempt at that shot. A little high as well. 
A good finish there from JW Johnson coming in, taking that ball out of the air. And again, we do have a pretty good sized crowd here on championship court. They're just mostly, mostly in the bleachers on the sides of the court under the shaded structures that you can't see on camera. But good amount of people here watching. Yeah, and they're watching J.W. Johnson with a game point here on his paddle in game number one. Good ball there from Sincola, and it almost is like he had Johnson lean into that backhand side because he's gone inside out a few times and leaves that forehand side open. Sincola needs about three or four more of those to get in this, and there's one right on cue with around, an inside out. Ran around to take that forehand, you can see here. Kind of runs around. Gets really off that side of the court. Be able to take that forehand really gives him a good angle for that beautiful drop. Uh, and Sincola had to guess one way or the other right there. Mm -hmm. He guessed middle, and Johnson goes to the sideline. Johnson will have a, another game point here. up from Johnson, but then Johnson Cola with the answer here. Again, watch him hold this on his paddle, almost make Johnson commit, and he does. Johnson commits to the right foot, mm -hmm. and Sincola pulls it back left foot. So here's the issue is Johnson, he can't guess to the inside outside because then it leaves it all it wide open. Mm -hmm. So he's just got to read a little better. And what I mean is he's just got to see Sincola open up to go to that side. Time out here maybe from Johnson. Nothing. I know we, we have been frustrated in the past with JW Johnson's uh, lack of timeouts when we feel like it would be a good time to do so. Certainly I think in these Last few rallies would be a good time. Now, especially with that error. Yeah. But nothing. he's going to be stubborn. He's going to ride it out here. He's cool looking to tie it up here. Ooh, and he does. What a run right now. So the time is you need that focus. And look at what it's doing. It's paying dividends already here for John in that right there. He doesn't give up. He fights. And now it's 10-10 in game one. Definitely a really great start to 2022 for John Sicola. Really kind of stepping up his game and realizing that you need that well-rounded balance. Oh. Nice hands there wow. from Sicola. You're right, Lauren, you need that balance. You gotta have that balance. You can't be, you know, up and down. Mm -hmm. Ooh, best hit there. And that's the thing is, without naming names, we see those players. We see players mm -hmm. that they do. They have wild swings of when in, when they're playing great, they're great. When they're playing down, it's yeah. kind of, you know, falling apart disaster time. And definitely something uh, everybody who's sort of looking to play at the elite level needs to focus on. Well, yeah, and John would self-admit that he was that guy, mm -hmm. he was that kind mm -hmm. of player, you know. When John was hot, he's hot, you know, and when he was down, he was down. And if he can find that balance, that's, you know, just gonna be incredible for him, and he's finding that balance right now. Mm -hmm. I love to see it. That's gonna be long, and Johnson Cola. Comes back from Looks down 10-5. Like